Subtest one. Follow the C set. Number three. We need to recognize the form first off. So the form A equals so B N plus R. So we're going to state from the beginning that A is 22 and B is 14. We're going to apply the Euclidean algorithm and get Again, if you don't understand the technique that's being done here, refer to the previous Euclidean algorithm question with two larger numbers. Find the GCD of two larger numbers. Goes in once with the remainder of six. It comes out front, goes in once with the remainder of two. Goes in three times, remainder of zero. That confirms that the GCD is in fact 2, which is pretty obvious between 14 and 22, but we still need to be able to show it. Now, I'm going to take these and rewrite them. Instead of being solved where it's A equals BN plus R, I'm going to put it in the form A minus BN equals R. And instead of writing all four statements, I'm going to write just the first three. And it's going to become apparent why in a second. So. 22 minus 14 times 1 is 8. And I'm going to leave some space here, all right? And I'm solving each one of these for the remainders, right? So solving this last one for the remainder, it's 8 minus 6 times 1 is 2. I'm not going to bother rewriting that last one. And back up here now, we knew that A we know that A is 22 and B is 14. So when we see this 22 number, I can just write that A is 22. So A minus, and 14 is just B. So it's A minus B times 1 is 8, and A minus B is 8. Well, looking here at 14, remember we have these two values. A is 22 and B is 14. So that's B minus, and we have a definition for A. The definition for A is right up there. It's A minus B, and that drops right down in here. And it's A minus B times 1. So we clean that up a little bit, minus the A plus the B, and you get 2B minus A. So 2B minus A equals 6. Now, that's our definition for 6, which we're going to place down there. Minus the quantity, always the quantity. And then we also have our 8 value, which is not from our last statement, but from two statements ago. So over here, you're just going to the preceding statement and two statements ago to get your inputs, to get your substituted values. The substituted value for 8 is just A minus B. And this equals 2, so finishing this up, A minus a negative A, so 2A. Negative b minus another 2b, so minus 3b. 2a minus 3b is 2. Now, one thing I didn't note from the beginning is that this is of the form ax plus by equals the gcd of a comma b. This is known as a Diophantine equation. Um, the Diophantine equation big name for a pretty simple idea. Coefficient x plus coefficient y equals number. All right, we're interested in integer solutions, or lattice points, if you will. Well, looking at this original form, I'm going to write it right below this. ax plus by equals the gcd of a comma b, right? And we already knew that the equation was 22x plus 14y equals 2. So, okay. so you can look into either one of these equations, and pretty clearly what you're seeing is that a, excuse me, x has to equal 2. And y has to 
to equal negative 3. Right? And we go ahead and note that. Since we recognize the form and the structure, we're just labeling the parts. So therefore, x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. The point is 2 comma negative 3 is the integer solution. To confirm it, I could just go into this equation, which is 22 times 2 plus 14 times negative 3 equals 2. And yes, 44 minus 42 does equal 2. Check. All right, there we are.